Welcome back to Epic Cars and today we're going to be trying out uh, episode 2 of uh, Do Harbor Freight Tools Actually Work? Or are they any good? Um, I was trolling through the aisles of uh, Harbor Freight the other day and ran across this Pittsburgh Crossbar Dent Repair Kit. Uh, now I, I know probably a lot of you have seen these on Facebook. Uh, I get them on my Facebook uh, page. Kind of an ad coming up where you have this little glue gun type thing, you glue it to the car, to the dent, you pull it out and boom, you're done in like three seconds and it's beautiful. Uh, well, this is basically the same concept, um, but this was like, I don't know, $13.99 at uh, Harbor Freight. And behind me, I've got my mom and dad's uh, Ford Excursion that I'm working on. And it's got a couple of hail dents on the hood and on the roof. Um, it's got a very large one on the fender over here. So I'm gonna try and at least on the fender and some of these bigger ones on the hood, I'm gonna try this uh, Harbor Freight dent repair kit and let's just see if it works. All right guys, so that's a close up of the actual box itself to kind of give you an idea of what it uh, looks like in the, in the store if you're gonna go get it. Um, then right beside it, you can see right there, there's a pretty good size uh, hail dent. Then if you come over right into here, there's a pretty good size one right there. There's a couple, I hopefully you can see that one right there and then that one right there, kind of smaller ones. But that's the big daddy right there. Um, and so I'm gonna try to get this one out. Okay, so I got everything out on the, uh, on the hood here from the box. Um, so essentially you get a glue gun, you get three glue sticks that come with it, you get a bottle of uh, fingernail polish, no, it's a release agent. Uh, you get the actual crossbar attachment itself. Looks like this is um, this is for larger dents, and maybe this is for a smaller dent. It's got a little uh, extra attachment here. Uh, I do not know what this is for. I guess to maybe just go around and circle your dents to let let you know where they're at. Um, and you get this thing. It looks like a uh, Bondo applicator, but what I think it is is that you kind of scrape off the glue after you've after you've done the job. You put the release agent on it and then kind of scrape it off uh, and I think you're good there. On the box itself it basically says uh, instructions are to simply glue the pull tab in place then lift out the dent using the crossbar. Pretty easy. Uh, the number two instruction is glue removes easily with release agent included. So there's only two instructions on the, on the box. Their claim to fame here is it repairs dents and dings without damaging vehicles finish. For 13 bucks, 14 bucks you know, hey, it's worth a shot. Uh, and I'm not saying it's going to work phenomenally, but that one dent and maybe these some of these larger dents over here. My understanding is most PDR places uh, charge you know 25 to 50 bucks a dent, uh, depending on what size it is, what location it's at, how hard it's get, uh, you know to get to. So if I could get three, four, five dents out uh, with this uh, thing, you know, maybe it saves 100 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. Um, so I think it's worth the investment and you know if anything we're learning something new guys so uh, here we go so this dent I'm nicknaming Godzilla because uh, it is a big old boy um, and it's right here on the top of this fender so I'm gonna put the two feet of that dent pillar essentially right there and then I can pull it out this way uh, it did not distort the fender in but it just basically just Put it right there and and uh, i think i can get it out with this thing so first thing i'm going to do is put some paint prep on this clean this up uh, get it nice and clean get the oils off of it uh, and then we're going to try gluing this thing to it and see what happens um, let's just take this out i've already cleaned it with this griot's paint prep uh, once and kind of got grime and stuff like that off of it but we'll use this stuff to put more clean it i guess a little bit better here Okay, so I got that done. Now I'll just use this rag that I was using earlier to clean it off really well. Man, that's a big old dent. That's amazing that that hail piece, hailstone hit it. I mean, that's, it seems like that would be a pretty strong area of a, of a corner on the bend of that fender. And man, that's a big old hail piece right there. So, Okay, so my gun's been uh, warming up here for, I don't know, about five minutes or so. Well, let's just see if it's Oh yeah. Okay, so it's I'm gonna put a pretty good size glob. Yes. Got a mosquito. 
then you're supposed to put that right in the middle let it dry oh, glue's going everywhere nice so basically then you put your crossbar across the top here get your feet kind of set where you want it to be then you can screw this back on All right, I'm just going to kind of let it sit there for a second make sure this is kind of set up right okay so I, I uh, repositioned the camera so you can kind of get a better shot at uh, actual the work in progress here um, which allowed it to even set up a little bit longer so I'm gonna start trying here and see what happens um, the only problem that I'm seeing so far is as as I'm turning it um, it's kind of hard to see the, the actual dent itself because this this pad is so big so maybe maybe if I had went with maybe this smaller uh, piece and gone on like that it'd give me a better idea but you know the entire pad is covering up kind of where the dent is so it's kind of tough to see like are you pulling it out or how far do you go that oh look at that popped right off now I will say based on my initial look it does look a little better not much but it's not as deep as it was before as you can tell there that's that's as big as the uh, glue glob was maybe if I went a bigger piece it would it would stick a little bit better but I think I am gonna go ahead and switch to this one and just put it right there in the center there because it's just it this is just so big it's, it's hard to tell what's going on with the dent itself when you're pulling it up so I'm gonna get that set up and we'll try again okay so you can tell I put a lot bigger glob of, of glue on I went ahead and switched to this smaller foot it's got some holes in it um, the actual uh, the feet do itself and you can see when I put the more glue on you've actually got glue coming through those holes and that's probably what I did wrong on the first time on this deal is see all these little holes all the way around this uh, foot is if you can allow the glue to come through and actually kind of grab onto this piece it's going to give a lot more uh, rigidity uh, and a lot more pull strength more than likely because it's kind of coming through the device and wrapping around it like little fingers just kind of holding on to it okay so I've let this dry for quite some time uh, just coming over here and touching it it's solid to the touch the little finger coming through is dried up uh, so I think it's ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and load this back on again and uh, hopefully it holds a little bit better this time using that different foot and that new technique I kind of figured out is let the glue come through those holes and um, kind of grab it a little bit more so let's start cranking it okay I'm off I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. I mean it seems like a lot more than last time so I think your key here is liberal amounts of glue yeah it's a lot more pressure than I was able to to do last time yeah guys I'm I mean it's getting it's a lot easier to see with this little foot but it's a lot more pressure than I was able to do the last time and it does seem like it's raising it so you know the key here is trying to make sure you don't go too far but you could always like it says in the instructions kind of hammer and dolly it back down yeah it's pulling it guys it's pretty amazing I mean to me it is it, if you can tell I, I maybe you can't tell uh, but it's it's hard to turn this knob so I mean it is it's there's a lot of pressure being exerted on that specific spot right now a lot more than I would thought that hot glue could hold and I'm gonna just take it down a couple of more turns here because I'd rather be a lot easier to hammer it in than have to set this whole thing back up again oh look at that so it finally busted but I was almost all the way down to the uh, where I had to stop anyways so yeah you can tell the little glue inside these fingers is holding a lot more amazingly I know you guys probably can't see this as well as I can the the largeness of that dent is gone um, it was I mean it looked like a golf ball had been thrown at this thing you know probably it was probably a golf ball size hailstone 
uh, was thrown at this thing. And now it's just down to this little, kind of little dimple. It's not the whole fender smashed in. Now I'm not saying it's, it's still very noticeable. Maybe if I can, there you go. So it's still very noticeable, but it's not, I mean, it used to be like that big around guys. And now it's just that centerpiece uh, that's kind of indented in. So again, still very noticeable, but I would say 50% of the dent is out. Now I've got to figure out how do we get that little piece out there in the middle. So let's try to set this thing up again and we'll see what happens. I think uh, the results are, I don't think this uh, kit's going to be putting any body shops or uh, paintless dent repair guys out of business. Um, I think it's going to work for bigger dents. Uh, if you have something, you know, maybe on a corner of your vehicle or something like that, I think it would pull it out a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's going to get it back to original, uh, but I think it's it's definitely worth 13 bucks, you know, to have in your shop and to have around in case you have any kind of big dent uh, issues. Uh, these little, what I call pinpoint dents uh, with this hail. Uh, I just don't think it's got enough uh, pounds per square inch to really pull those out on a pinpoint uh, basis. Uh, as you can tell, the uh, the glue kind of kept popping off. It's just it's just too much too much strength is needed on those little little bit, bitty pinpoints. This will be going into a PDR place uh, probably over the next week or so and uh, getting uh, prepped. Uh, again, this is the one I'm selling for my parents, so I want to make sure I can get all these little dents out and get the most uh, high dollar out of it uh, for them. Uh, so. Signing off for another week of Epic Cars. Guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you can. I really appreciate the support. If you've had really good luck with these uh, dent puller uh, systems, you know, put it in the comment section. Let me know. I'm sure other people would be interested to read that. Uh, but until next time, uh, signing off, uh, and uh, I'm not going into the Epic Cars uh, body shop business with my little fancy dancy uh, dent puller. So until next time, guys, uh, God bless. Take care. See ya.